we're going to hear from the Keller Bay, Heather Monroe and Halston Body, who have asked for some time to speak their mind. Well, 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 well. Before I even begin, Heather, darling, you look stunning as always. Oh, yes. Hello. Come on, Mama. Yes. Who? However, I would be in such a better mood right now considering what we accomplished in episode 500 in the main event tag team match. Except, I, I don't know, I'm feeling a little empty handed. I feel like there's something missing here. What say you, my dear? Well, Halston, as you know, uh, we've had a few hoops to jump through lately. In fact, it seems like it's a never ending hoop after hoop after hoop because, you know, me and Lacey, me and Lacey Ryan, we were having this great best of seven series that's now stuck at two and three because Nico Marquez decided to stick his nose in our business. He did that so much that Lacey got afraid and she ran away and changed her name. And then Nico keeps sticking his nose in my business. He brings out these contracts and he says, who wants a contract? And Cece Chanel says, I do, I do. Guess what that turns out to be? Oh yeah, you work for Nico now and Nico alone. And then he hires Ruby Rays and puts me in a body bag match with her and forces us to team up an untrained wrestler, which by the way, you did very well. I'm proud of you. And he puts us in these matches, but we won. We persevered. We made sure that there will be a women's championship belt at championship wrestling from Hollywood. And then there's Jamie Iveen. The same JV Iveen that put us together, that called me the gem of the upper class. I was his prized beauty. And now Jamie's sticking his nose in my business and he's talking to Viva Van and he's saying, hey Viva, come be in the same exact terrible predicament as Cece Chanel. Viva, I know that we have a history and I used to be your mentor and I wasn't very nice. I can admit that and I'm sorry for that. But Viva, do not sign that contract. You do not want to be a part of the problem. You want to be a part of the solution. Well, and here you see Viva Van making her way out here. And I don't know if she knows what to think of the words of Heather Monroe. They do have some tumultuous history as Heather alluded to Let's hear from Viva. So now you want to mention my name after two years. Okay, I hear you. You said you've changed, right? But it took you two years to apologize to me? Just as much as how you've changed, so have I. I am no longer your young bae. I am now the hell-bent vixen. Pretty sure you heard that. But if you care so much about me, then give me a match. <laughs> it isn't until you heard that I was going to sign that contract until you want to mention my name again. So give it to me. Oh, be careful what you wish for, sweetums. Done and done. Viva, I'm being serious with you here. If this means that you'll think about not signing that contract, I'll give you any match you want. How about next week? There you have it, challenge issued, challenge accepted. Heather Monroe accepting the match with Viva Van to try and make her think twice about sa signing that contract offered by Jamie Iovine yep. through the hands of Guy Tweekazetti. Viva Van essentially saying, keep my name out of your mouth or suffer the consequences, but Heather Monroe and Halston Body seem to be ready to answer. Interesting developments, but one thing's for certain, we have a great women's division match coming up next week and we got a lot more action coming your way here on championship wrestling <laughs>